Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today I have a really cool review for you from the brand Urban Survival Gear. Now I'm sure you might recognize this design, especially the one on the upper half of the screen there, because that is the TI Scribe Bolt, uh, which is hugely popular, a gorgeous design. I recently featured it in kind of my top three favorite uh, Bolt Action Pens review I did not too long ago. Now they've actually uh, planned to release the Mini model, which I've been keeping a very close eye on and uh, we were actually able to get Urban Survival Gear, uh, the team over there, to send over a pre-production model for us to share with you guys. Um, so as you can see, uh, scale-wise it's definitely just a bit shorter, but the Mini is also uh, part of the V2 line, which means that it does take advantage of all of the differences and whatnot and the advancements um, from that standpoint materially, which we'll go into uh, further in the review. But uh, basically, you know, Urban Survival Gear, uh, they're of course a custom pen maker, and they really have an eye for that sleek minimalist design, which I really get a kick out of, guys. Um, and then, you know, this type of product, you know, some key common characteristics of design language when you're looking for a custom pen. Of course, you're going to want that unique design language. You're going to want that fun kind of fidgetable um, actuation. And then, of course, you're going to want premium materials and construction. And I think uh, what Urban Survival Gear has done is, of course, continue to deliver on those uh, kind of pillars and cornerstones of what you look for in a product like this. And uh, with the smaller package, it's just now even more pocketable and can go with you uh, anywhere you want, which I think is great. Um, so this thing Thing is perfect not only just for your you know pant pocket but now for a breast pocket on uh, you know on a button-down shirt so I think that's just really fantastic and of course uh, now with the shorter size scale wise it even gives you a little bit more of a feeling of, of almost thickness even though they're about the same thickness um, I think visually I guess it, it feels a little bit thicker because of course the longer model uh, I think stretches the uh, the visual mass there and, and makes it feel a little bit uh, thinner which here at the shorter one it feels a little bit stubbier and a little bit thicker in hand so it does play a little bit of a trickery on your eye and trickery on your heart <laughs> and uh, and I think it really all pays off to a really good experience in hand so with that said let's go ahead and take a closer look okay now before we jump too far into the pen review uh, I'll just do a quick wristwatch check this is my Damasco DS30 uh, really great everyday kind of pilot's watch very tough it actually uh, although not titanium it has a very similar finish with this hardened submarine steel I think it definitely matches the very minimalist aesthetic and the kind of vibe here where really everything is purposeful and functional and um, super super clean and legible and it just a uh, design language it really stands out which I can definitely appreciate and I think if you're you know in the EDC vibe you can definitely appreciate a watch like this uh, this is actually the an optional um, textured rubber strap from Damasco so really really cool this is actually one of the first gen uh, DS 30s that came out uh, that's only a hundred meters water resistant uh, versus now I believe they actually do have models that are all gonna be in that 200 meter water water resistant range which is really really cool so nice improvement if you're gonna be buying one of those new now as far as this goes I want you guys to kind of get a close look here and kind of really see the, the the difference in size that you're gonna have when it comes to uh, the mini versus the full size model there as you can see it's essentially about a tip shorter and that really makes a difference because something like this is obviously not going to be super easy easily pocketed um, definitely not um, you know in, in your front uh, you know the front pocket on a you know button-down pocketable but this definitely is and uh, and I think kind of their whole goal was to make something that's shorter more pocketable and something that you know essentially will pair really great with just a pocket notebook and it'll fit right in which I think they really hit the nail on the head with that as far as the uh, size and scale goes uh, a couple of other kind of benchmarks in the range you're gonna have your Parker Jotter you're gonna have your zebra um, F701 and as you can see we put all the tips down here really the the main difference is the the clicker you're gonna get a little bit more clicker hanging out on these more standard models versus here um, it's actually a, a little bit shorter uh, but essentially the body is very similar so when it comes to kind of the in hand um, you know experience it's not like it's going to be feeling super short because it's actually similar to a very standard pen um, and because it is shorter it almost feels a bit thicker although it's not thicker um, from the full-size model uh, because it's shorter it just it doesn't elongate 
the uh, the pen visually the way that you would uh, with the full size model but this thing feels really great and it's not so short to where you're feeling like you just need a little bit more purchase you can still get it in there and it can still lay on the hand really nicely it's not you know out of pocket where it's like so down there where it's just like an effect the way that you write um, you can actually get in there and write very comfortably and then of course I am left-handed um, the action is fantastic. They did upgrade the springs there. Um, so actually let's get into some of the details here on this guy. So let's go ahead and let it focus so you guys can get a closer look. Okay. Now, uh, as far as some of those details go, of course, this is a shorter version of the classic tie scribe bolt model. Um, it also takes advantage of all of the V2 upgrades. So the, the one that I showed you earlier here, this is actually a V1. So some of the upgrades that the V2 line get are also in the full size, um, but essentially the, the mini model is, is moving on based off of the V2 full size. Um, you're actually one of the, the, the kind of main difference is, um, you know, of course, besides the side, but it's the size, but for V2 goes is you're gonna go grade nine titanium versus the previous grade three titanium. Uh, the pocket clip is still gonna be uh, grade five, which is great, which is more of an alloy. Um, but as far as the uh, you know the wear kind of resistance and uh, the corrosion resistance uh, with that grade nine it's going to be much nicer and, and of course it's actually stronger so they're able to kind of cut these a bit thinner um, and and really reduce the weight so although um, this is shorter which is helping reduce weight it's also um, you know it's a stronger slightly stronger material it's going to be shaved down just a little bit tighter uh, as far as the tolerances go and uh, this um, Again, as far as scale goes, this is something that's going to fit really easy with a pocket notebook. Uh, and it's actually going to come equipped with a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, which is a really great uh, tip. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go into a writing with it or whatnot because, of course, you can switch out. Um, this with you know uh, a Parker space pen refill or or, or I'm sorry uh, any kind of Parker style refill as well uh, so I'm not just the Fisher space not the Parker space Fisher space pen refill um, so you know that's really based on preference uh, it's really more a review of this case and whatnot and of course the functionality of that fantastically integrated um, bolt there now as far as like it, it being a very smooth and fun and fidgetable um experience that's that's definitely still there it's not super hard or anything like that as far as the action goes you know you can see there it, it's it's very smooth even with a uh, very little break in here on this um, nice little uh, press model um, as you can see there's going to be some blemishes and whatnot but on the stone washed finish it's definitely still uh, wearing really well and, and looking absolutely fantastic now the retail on these is actually $99. Uh, there's also a pre-order sale that's going on right now that's still active as I'm filming this, uh, where you can get these actually for about 10 bucks off. So you can get them for uh, $89.99, which I think is definitely uh, still very enticing, especially um, if the, the full size one was just a little bit too long for you. I think this shorter model could really do the trick. And uh, you know, you really get your kind of EDC's worth when you have something that you can carry with you um, versus just leaving at your desk. I mean, this is something that I definitely leave at my desk versus carry with me, but man, it's fantastic. Um, so it's kind of cool to be able to kind of have a little, uh, you know, expeditious model here that can go with me um, and, and kind of be in my pocket, uh, whether it's going to be in my pant pocket or inside a breast pocket on a button down. So um, as far as the materials and finish, of course, we did talk about this is made out of titanium. The finish is stonewashed and it has these really cool low polish accents there. Um, I, you know, it's, I struggle to call these high polished, although they are really well done. It's almost like kind of a machine finish there that, you know, just in contrast to the stone wash makes it look a little bit brighter. Um, so definitely really handsome. And, and of course th those feel super good in hand. So kind of tying back into kind of functionality and minimalism, you have everything that's there is gonna be purposeful. It's not uh, there to do anything else besides uh, give you grip and then also look good doing it. You know, it's not super ornate where it's just there to be decorative, uh, which I think is really nice. So it's also functional and, and it looks great. Um, 
So you definitely have that clean functional minimalism that I really, really enjoy. The length wise, this is uh, four inches, uh, 4.77 inches. And then the thickness wise, it's actually just gonna be about nine and a half millimeters thick. And the weight is super light. This thing is only 0.7 ounces uh, for the titanium model, of course. Now, as far as in-hand ergonomics, really light, but still extremely balanced. It doesn't just feel like it's gonna fly away or it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a pen, which is really great. Um, and then, of course, it has that really creative bolt action, which I really enjoy. And it's one of those fun things when you give it to somebody and you put it in their hand, they kind of are like, what is, how does this? And then they figure it out, they go, oh, that's, why aren't there more that are like this? And I, I think that's a really nice way to do it. It's something that is quite intuitive and kind of once you see it, you wonder why more pens aren't uh, being done like this. So I think that's really, really cool. Now, um, as far as in pocket goes, this thing is extremely slim, of course, very, very compact. The silhouette is much closer to a standard pen than most customs that are gonna come in much thicker. Um, and of course, this is actually quite light. Now, as far as model variants go, yeah, there's actually, uh, you can get a copper model uh, that's about $10 cheaper. Of course, that's gonna be with the, the pre-order sale and the full price, it's gonna be $10 cheaper than the range of kind of 99 and 89 for the TI. And then if you want a brass model, those are gonna be $20 cheaper and, and kind of in the same range off of that, that flux on the full price versus the pre-order sale um, for the titanium model as well. Now, comparable options, there's tons of bolt action pens out there, guys, and you've seen some of them featured uh, on this channel. You've seen some of them featured just recently on this channel, for goodness sakes. Um, but you know what? This thing, it just, it just has a look and feel of its own, and I gotta give, uh, you know, uh, Urban Survival Gear props. Uh, they definitely have a really winning formula here and a design aesthetic. I feel like they could just keep refining over time. This thing could be a 911, uh, you know, Porsche, where, you know, each iteration might look quite similar to the previous one, but uh, it, it's there's a reason why, right? Because they're, you're just refining something that looks good. You're not having to reinvent it in any way. Because I think what they've already done uh, to kind of reinvent the idea of an everyday carry bolt action pen, they've already done a lot uh, as far as being creative from that standpoint and everything uh, that's happened since then has just been really a matter of refinement and improvement so that's really really cool um, now the bottom line on here it's really everything you loved about the full-sized uh, TI scribe bolt model um, just a little bit smaller guys it's it's just uh, in a more pocketable uh, pocket friendly form factor now so if you enjoyed this pen before you will definitely enjoy this one if you thought this one was cool but it was a bit long a little bit slender it felt a little bit too much like a standard pen um, in hand maybe didn't have a unique enough uh, feeling for you um, then then this could be really great for you or if you want something that does feel a little bit more like a standard pen and doesn't necessarily feel like a tactical spike or anything like that um, this could also uh, definitely be for you because it's just a great piece and you can see um, it's just a kind of pleasure to to fidget with uh, to kind of pass the time um, and it's definitely solidly constructed and just really really well executed and the design is absolutely fantastic so with all that said guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys